Ladies and gentlemen, my grandson, Logan, caught this fish in the ocean all by himself on a St. Croix Mojo surf. Let's get him up there, show the folks. Turn him sideways. Oh, look at that guy. What do you think about that? How about a high five? Is that fun? Don't get any better than that, folks. Hey folks, Obi here. Today I'd like to share some fishing tactics and some of the equipment I use while surf fishing down in the Gulf. Okay, as far as the equipment that I use, is, um, first and foremost, I like the St. Croix Rise. Surf. This one here, nine foot medium fast action. The model number is MSS90MMF2. It's a two piece rod that you can break this thing down like for travel and uh, just spool it up some braided line. And then, uh, of course, my, my leaders are my top numbers. And then as far as the reel, um, I like this one here because it had the, uh, the bait runner. It would basically take the drag you know, completely off from it. This is a cast thing, and I believe it's uh, 3500. So I'd get a lot of line on that scooter. So that's basically the setup. Of course, a good sand spike. I just made these out of a uh, channel aluminum. Some of those fish holes, uh, racks worked out really good. So stay tuned, let's see if we catch some fish. Well, this morning, we're out here on the Gulf and we do some surf fishing. And a lot of people ask me, like, well, how do you rig this stuff up? So basically, I start with the big clip. Put on and that surf is pretty mild today, but about a three ounce pyramid weight. And then all I did was I just took and cut up some mullet. I'm kind of going after redfish, uh, bluefish, preferably the red. And they've got some pretty hefty scales. When you find a spot, you can hook that right through. Okay, just like that. Basically, you got a pop rig. Right? You got two floats coming off of a T knot, pyramid sinker, clip the test to your line. Now we're going to take it out and throw it out in the surf. I think we got another fish on. Got one? All right. Huh? Nice. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, I got a pole bending. Oh, I see him splashing. Second fish. Here he comes. That looks like a blue or look at that guy. What you got there? That is pretty cool. Nice second fish, man. High five. Awesome. So not too long after we caught that blue fish. Uh, we hooked into this nice redfish. It was in the slot. Uh, got some pompano. Um, another time, got some whiting, an excellent eating fish. 
And of all things, I caught a shark. So it was pretty cool um, being out there in the surf, uh, just setting up the poles, sitting back. I also want to show you a bait that you can use. Uh, you use a rake and you can get these sand fleas out of the beach. They work real well. But be careful of this guy here, Fred. He likes to steal your fish or your bait. So you got to get out, enjoy the beautiful surf fishing. I mean, it's a fantastic time. Um, you can get some tasty fish like these pompano. Uh, we took them back to the campsite, uh, cooked them up on the Blackstone Grill, and uh, actually made uh, fish tacos out of them. They were just fantastic. So uh, like I always say, quit wishing. Just go fishing. Share the memories with your grandkids or family. Surf fishing is inexpensive, fun to do, and get out there and give it a try. Thank you.